changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other's hands, in confidence we'll make the world a better place. Welcome to the Princess Pata Pabio Show. On this show, we change minds and change attitudes on how you perceive things in life generally. As you know, things are never what they seem. On today's episode, we will be talking about fashion as a pastor's wife. Now, you know we live in a society where what the pastor's wife is doing is always constantly under scrutiny. Whether she's dressed right, people going to talk about it, good or positive, people going to talk for and people going to talk against. But they fail to understand that fashion is an expression of how one feels at a particular point in time. And that fashion is a way of expressing yourself without saying a single word about your mood at any given time. Time. Joining me to talk about fashion as a pastor's wife is an evangelist herself of Revival International Gospel Church here in Aquaibom State. Matter of fact, she's also a bishop's wife. She's a mother. She's an entrepreneur. She's a humanitarian woman personified. I don't think I am missing anything in this description of the woman that I am talking about. Welcome to the Princess Pat Akpabio Show, Evangelist Mrs. Helen Wright. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Pat Akpabio Show. Sweetheart, you are welcome to the show. Okay. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. You're looking good. I love thank the yellow, you. the black combination. <laughs> and you too. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I'm right, you know, people have been talking about women's fashion, okay? And especially, people will dress and get away with it. But when a pastor's wife dress or a clergy person dresses, people are going to hit you, talking, negatives shouldn't have done this, mm. you shouldn't have done that. Before we get into what would you look at as appropriate, what is fashion to you? Yeah, okay. Um, fashion to me, um, it's um, my prevailing kind of style. Mm -hmm. um, my dress, mm -hmm. the way I love to dress, mm -hmm. my behavior. Mm -hmm. um, generally, I think fashion to me is a culture. Okay. Yeah. Um, fashion to me is a culture. Mm -hmm. And um, I I look at it as a, my own kind of way, the way I want to dress, mm -hmm. my culture, the mm -hmm. way I dress. Okay. And not trending, wearing what is trending, okay. what people see, okay. what I love to wear at a particular time, Point in and time. what suits me. Okay, okay. Yeah. I like that. So, and I, I like what you just said. Fashion is a culture. Yeah. Because I mean, I believe that fashion is a way you express where you are affiliated to yeah. your culture. And it is actually an expression of feelings. Yes. I, I've been saying it. And I'm, I mean, I'm so glad that you're saying the same thing. What do you look at when we're looking at fashion as a Christian? Is there any specification? Should it be in a certain way? And fashion as a Christian should just be modesty okay. for me. Okay. Um, um, in your instincts okay. about it, then maturity in it. Okay. That's the way I look at fashion as a Christian. Okay. You have to be um, modest. Modest. In your dressing. I like that. Um, uh, you have to be um, um, you have to be distinct about it. Okay. No indecent exposure. Exposure. Okay. And then your maturity about your dressing and, and how, how you dress it how you dress okay yeah it just okay sense all right i like that now let's look at um you know when we talk about certain kind of um form of dressing like trousers in churches mm. a lot of people even as we're living now still have issues with wearing trousers to church what is your take on that i don't have any problem with that <laughs> because i think um I try not wearing trousers a lot. Okay. And I'm comfortable with With wearing trousers wearing to church trousers. and all of that stuff. Yeah. It depends on how the trousers you're wearing. Mm -hmm. uh, I one might I, I might not really wear jeans to church, maybe okay. on Sunday service. Okay. Depending on like I said, your dressing depends on the occasion okay. you want it to be. Mm -hmm. I can dress with a trouser suit to church. Okay. I'm comfortable. I love it. I love trouser suits. I love it. Yes. 
I love it. I can remember some day years back as a worker, mm -hmm. we have to be on our trouser suit. Okay. Yeah, far back in Christ Diplomat. Wow. You see us all coming, the protocols with our trouser suits, wow. looking very lovely and classy. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I love that, you know, but, you know, when we come to church and we're talking about church, you know, this is um, hypocrisy that goes up with fashion, with church people and all that stuff. And sometimes for me, I sit back down and I laugh at it because, okay, so... I'm not wearing trousers to church because it's wrong to wear trousers oh. to church. But I can wear trousers to the market. I can wear trousers to the office. I can wear trousers somewhere else. What's your take on that? Because personally, I have a different opinion on wearing trousers to office, to church, or to any other running around. But you can wear it to church um, every day. I don't have a problem with somebody wearing trousers to church, like okay. I said. Mm -hmm. um, because for me... Fashion is where you want to dress, okay. The decency of it, okay, and the modesty of it. Mm -hmm. I might wear her trousers to church, mm -hmm. but not indecent exposure, probably exposing my boobs, okay, out or trying to, you know, um, try to dress some kind of way, okay, but um. Well dressed, mm -hmm. um, not with like those days we used to be in university. You wear with like a crop top. Mm -hmm. So you see somebody with a crop, crop top, top wearing it to the church <laughs> and that's all shade. No, that's not what we're talking about. Okay, you are wearing a trouser decently. Okay, you are not wearing it because you are uh, you're wearing it to attract somebody. Okay, but just what you are wearing it because um. It, um, it's a fashion for you. For you, you. You're, okay. You're comfortable with it. Okay. Uh, if you can wear it to the bank. Mm -hmm. Why can't you wear it to church? Exactly my point. And you just hit it the right there. They wear trousers suit. Yes. Well dressed. Mm -hmm. You know, you see them well corporate. Okay. Yes. So <laughs> the same way, can't you can't you be corporate like that? To church? church? That's right. So like really I I I mean what you're so selling. I don't really see anything. anything There's wrong. nothing wrong with it. Okay. With somebody doing that, right? Mm, not okay. At all. I mean I can agree with you with that same thing. When it comes to a pastor's wife now. You are an evangelist yourself, and you're also a bishop's wife. When it comes to fashion, society has actually put um, pastor's wives into a particular category and box. And, you know, you have to be here to be seen to be the ideal, in quote, um, pastor's wife in terms of your dressing, your hair, your makeup. You can't be too showy. You can't be sexy. as a pastor. What's your take on that? Uh, my take on that? I have not seen any word in the Bible. Okay particularly okay. that this is how a pastor's wife should dress. Okay. And uh, some people believe that as a pastor's wife, you have to dress one kind of way. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to be this way. Mm -hmm. Forgetting that a pastor's wife is a woman. And so she should dress the way a woman should dress, the mm -hmm. way she wants to dress. Uh -huh. And I, I look at, um, okay, let's go biblical now. We okay. look at First Peter 3, um, I think 1 to 5. Okay. When uh, Peter was talking about your dressing. Mm -hmm. But your dressing in quotes should be about um, everything that said, everything you have to do, that's what Peter mm -hmm. says. Mm -hmm. You have to do it with modesty. Modesty. Yes, that's to say, he should not over overdo it. Overdo it. You should not overdo it. You want to do a makeup? Fine. Beautiful, lightly just the way you look. Mm -hmm. And um, you want to dress the same way. Mm -hmm. So to me, I think as a pastor's wife, mm -hmm. um, the fashion there, what people talk about it is um purity of heart. That's what I see. Purity of heart. Purity of heart in what you're wearing. Mm -hmm. You're not wearing it because it's your kind any kind of competition with, with anybody. anybody. Um you have to be have um purity of mind. Mm -hmm. Um you have to be Dress godliness, mm -hmm. godly. Mm -hmm. Godly doesn't mean you have to tie wrapper, okay. tie your head. You don't wear your earring. You don't do makeup. No, that's I had not to laugh it. At that. Then, um, they don't have to dress in a particular kind of way, way. to suit the society. Mm -hmm. I don't like to wear mini skirts. Okay, but my husband loves short, short skirts. skirts. And he buys me trousers short suits. Suit. That is short. short. <laughs> I love to wear long flowing gowns. Okay. That doesn't mean I don't have beautiful legs uh -huh. just like you. Thank you. And then um, I love to wear trousers more especially. I'm mm -hmm. very comfortable with trousers. trousers. And he loves that. And somebody will think that you don't have to do makeup. Mm -hmm. Why should you be doing makeup? Why should she fix lashes? Oh, bullshit. 
Mm. That's what my husband likes. Word. Yes. Word. I and heard that. My nails, he doesn't like to see my nails unkept. He just wants it done. He want, yes, he wants it done all the time. And Lovely. Me, um, your nails, um, sometimes he said, ah, this one has gone up. Why mm -hmm. Your nails is looking somehow. Mm -hmm. why, should, why is it like this? Mm. But for the society and the way they look at the pastor's wife, mm -hmm. you're not supposed to fix your nails. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to do your hair. Mm -hmm. I don't. To me. It's the pastor's wife dressing and fashion should not be particular mm -hmm. about what the society are saying mm -hmm. or what people are looking at that's, you. Okay. But if my husband wanted in this kind of way and is a pastor, that's the way I'll dress. Mm. And I am not dressing indecently. Of course. I'm dressing modestly, All right. maturely. That's right. And what I'm comfortable with and what I like. <laughs> I like that. I mean, I like the fact that you took our time to elaborate on that and actually shedding some light on the fact that your husband loves miniskirts. Mm -hmm. Now, you are not the miniskirt type, mm -hmm. but then he buys okay. you the three-quarter kind of shirt because of him and all of that mm -hmm. stuff. And I strongly believe that that's exactly what our men should do, especially in the clergy class. We've been talking to evangelists Helen right here in the studio and we're talking about fashion as a pastor's wife and she's made it very clear to us that as a pastor's wife as a Christian your dressing should actually be modest and if you can wear pant trouser suits to work and to any other place there's nothing wrong in wearing it to church and actually I'm sure you also share the same sentiment of what she's saying and then you should also do makeup on your face fix your hair do lashes and basically you actually have to represent the God that you said that you serve because your God is a beautiful God. <laughs> All right, Pastor Evangelist Helen, rather, let me ask you this question now. You know, we live in a society where people think that as a pastor's wife, you don't get sexually harassed or sexually approached in life. And, you know, even when we are or when they are, they don't talk about it. Oh, is it taboo? I can't talk about it. Oh, I'm married. How can I even talk about that? Another man has looked at me in a very uh, sexual way, in a lustful way, and even opened his mouth to even say, oh, ah, woman of God, you're beautiful. Woman of God, you're so sexy. Uh, can I take you out on dinner? As a pastor, so even as an evangelist, have you ever in your walk with the Lord in his vineyard, ever been sexually approached, sexually harassed by the opposite sex as a pastor's wife? Uh, okay. I have to be sincere with you. Uh -huh. And just like you said, as a pastor's wife, mm -hmm. uh, not because I'm in the camera, okay. I would lie to you. Okay. I have. Okay. Yes, I have. Um, because you're a woman. That's right. You're beautiful. That's right. Somebody sees you attractive mm -hmm. and attracted to you, mm -hmm. and he'll tell you, you're beautiful, mm. I like you, mm. can I be your friend? Mm -hmm. so sometimes we find out that probably the friend he wants to have with you is negative on the other side, side the opposite. Of, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, I, I have a case um, some time ago, mm -hmm. I was preaching, mm -hmm. and uh, as soon as I, I finished, mm -hmm. I put on my phone, I had a message. <laughs> Somebody who was sitting down in the congregation and watching me preaching, not listening to what I was preaching. You don't say. I was trying to figure out the, my shape and the where I am <laughs> and telling me how sexy and beautiful I am. What? Are you kidding me? A young man, I don't know how he got my number. Probably he just got my number from the church. And I said, please, can I have your mama's number? Wow. Oh, please, can I have the lady's number? And the next thing, a text got into my phone. I'm mm. not bothered to call him. Okay. And to find out who the person is. Uh -huh. No, 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 I have not done, done that. that. Okay. Yes. So, if for you to say, uh, maybe you've not, no man will tell you you're beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, the same way they arrest the pastors, the male pastors. pastors that's the right. They do arrest the male pastors. That's oh, right. I'm coming for counseling. Mm. Oh, Pastor, you're beautiful. Oh, you're rolling your eyes and start seducing the man. Mm -hmm. It's the same way the men too will come after At the woman. Life, after mm. the woman. You, this, <laughs> this facts cannot be rolled out. Gotcha. Maybe before now or now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe I'll say, going older, they might decide not to. <laughs> but as a young woman, you are, you're looking beautiful, you're mm -hmm. looking, they'll tell you, ah, you look sexy, mm -hmm. oh, this is your shape. Uh -huh. like, you know, the, try to ima imagine the way I look. <laughs> Just like I told you, the young guy who sent a message to me, mm -hmm. I've not bothered to ask. Why? But I'm preaching, 
and you're sending a message to me trying to figure out he said i i should tell you mm -hmm. trying to remember the way he put it mm -hmm. he said um that he wants to tell me sincerely mm -hmm. you're beautiful your shape and all of that the way he described he took time he took time that's to tell you everything i was saying there was in here and coming and, out the other way. The other way. He wasn't paying so he attention. He wasn't paying attention. What? All he was looking at is me. The beautiful. How this woman come and preach. A pastor, like, maybe a pastor's wife is not supposed to be this beautiful. Beautiful. Or look this way. Or they maybe they will just want a pastor's way to look, look a one certain kind way. Of way. Yes. A certain way. Because you know, it just draws down to what we've been talking about on, the, on this particular episode mm -hmm. fashion as a pastor's wife. Mm -hmm. I, I want to believe that certain people in society don't believe that beautiful women should be preaching the gospel. Um, women should look a certain way when preaching the gospel. Certain women should look a certain way when they see you beautiful and, you know, you're stylish, you're fashionista, uh, and you're talking about Christ, you wear a beautiful smile on your face. No, this one is not a pastor. Pastor doesn't look like this. You know, you have to be, mm, mama, mama. No. your face every time like you're not yeah. smiling uh, uh, have this very serious uh, uh, attitude uh, uh, and everything all right with that being said let me ask you this other question this one is pertaining to weddings okay as a pastor's wife i'm sure you guys have been to weddings you've officiated in weddings and all that stuff what do you think about wedding dresses how wedding dresses should look um how the train dress the bride's train um dress because usually it's not the men the, the groomsmen that have issues, always the brides and the bridegrooms are the, the bridemaids that have the issues in terms of dressing Certain dressing that comes into the church during the wedding dre uh, wedding day should the church accept the wedding dress because it's a wedding day and it's only for that day, even for the bride and the bride um the bride train the bridal train. Okay, in that aspect, um yeah, there's some certain kind of way you should dress for a wedding. Okay. Yes, because you won't tell me you just decide to wear a t-shirt and a polo you're going in. Yes, you might decide to maybe you're going for the reception. Mm -hmm. In our society, in mm -hmm. the context mm -hmm. where we are, uh, <laughs> that's the way I look at it. And um, for the wedding, it depends on the fashion, it depends on the dress code. For the church? For the church. Okay. So some kind of church have their own tradition. Okay. They, where they want it to be. Be, okay. Yeah. Okay. But it's not biblical. Okay. But they have their own church doctrine. And how okay, we... let me put it, it's the church doctrine. That's now. right. When it comes to marriage, dressing, mm -hmm. how the wife should dress, mm -hmm. how the wife, the, the wedding gown should, um, look like. should look like. No oh, tube. No, no tube. No mono. No, no, no. no. <laughs> My wedding gown was a tube. Mine was a tube. Mine, mine too was a tube as yes. well. Mine was was I a went tube. to the registry <laughs> with a tube, and mine that's was, what I wore. Mine and too. he likes it that way. Mine was too. Yes. Your husband and my husband probably have do have similarities in terms of fashion <laughs> because actually mine was actually the same thing. Mm -hmm. But do you think that when it has to do with weddings, since it's just a one day thing, maybe this, the, the church should make concession to allow the bride to wear her own wedding dress, so long as you know all the vital parts are covered. Yes, just like you said. If all the vital parts are covered, are covered mm -hmm. decently, mm -hmm. no indecent exposure, mm -hmm. or trying to bring out and the cleavage, say, yes, it's okay. It's okay for me. Okay, including yeah. all right. What about the guests? The wedding guests and all that stuff. Should the church even bother about that? No, because no. I mean, you don't. For me, I, I the guests. Are not the Things are never what they seem to be. Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a busy one Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a busy one Show some love, hold each other's hands in confidence we'll make the world a better place We are changing minds and changing attitudes You're watching the Princess Patapapio Show